Yo, what's going on guys? Horcrux here. Welcome back to the channel. And do you guys feel like the DK is borderline for being OP? Like it just needs a little push to get it over the edge into the next level? Well, don't worry. Your boy Horcrux has got your back. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do just that with these OP potions that I have here. So without further ado, let's get into today's video, guys. Yo, welcome back guys, and before we jump into today's video, a huge shout out to my patrons, you guys are absolutely amazing, as is everyone who watches content on my channel. Now, 72% of my current viewers are not subscribed, so please do your boy Horcrux a favor and leave me a sub. You don't necessarily have to leave me a like, a sub will go a long way. Also, one more thing to note before we get into today's video is I'm doing a PvP Top 5 series. If you guys are interested in that and interested in how to submit your clips and what it's all about, I have a card here on the top right hand corner of the screen that gives you all the information that you need. So please click on that if you're interested. Now, there are several potions I want to go over in today's video. They all involve Minor Heroism, which is an amazing perk for the DK because it synergizes hella well with your Battle War passive. So if you guys are unfamiliar with what your Battle War passive does, it gives you resources back every single time you use your ultimate. So the quicker you get your ultimate, that means you will have more sustain, a more damage output because you're tossing out more leaps here and there. So this frees up a lot of flexibility on your builds because you're able to push more damage and more tankiness without having to worry about the whole sustain aspect. So that's the whole point of this video. Now I do have a mag Immortal Magic a Dragonite build video that goes over these potions as well. But I feel that these potions require or deserve like, their own special video. So here we are. I have three sections of potions. We have the great value potions we have <laughs> the average potions and then we also have the high roller potions so the very first ones we're going to go over are the great value ones now you make these by dragon's bile dragon's blood and spider eggs they make you vanish yeah cool whatever's the third uh, tertiary effect it gives you a lingering health effect and also gives you minor heroism the reason i love these potions is because the dk lacks a healing over time ability on our kits and it's very annoying when you drop down to like 80 percent health 85 percent health and you're not completely topped off the lingering health pots help keep you topped off just so you can't get bursted down it's a, it's an amazing amazing effect lingering health pots i swear by them guys so again you make these by dragon's ball Dragon's Blood, and Spider Egg. Next potions we're going to hop into are the kind of average uh, middle of the road guys. If you have, you know, you play the game kind of casually, yeah, you should have enough gold on hand to make these. So these give us major expedition essence to speed pots. The DK lacks mobility, so anything you can do to increase our sprint speed is amazing. You know, chase people down to get away, what have you. So these potions help counter out our weaknesses there. Also, it gives us the lingering health effect. Again, DKs lack a healing over time unless you're running a resto staff with like rapid regen. So this is a very beneficial effect for our kits. And then you also get minor heroism. You make these by using Dragon Drum, Dragon's Blood, and Scrib Jelly. The only expensive reagents out of these three is probably the Dragon Drum. The units, you know, per unit usually goes 3,500 to 4K on the PC in a marketplace. Now, if you're a high roller, you're absolutely swimming in cash. You are a fucking billionaire in this game. We have the other Essence of Speed Pots, which are mildly better because they also give you Major Expedition, but they also give you Major Vitality. Major Vitality is huge. That 16% Heal buff is super noticeable. When you're defiled, you don't even feel it. It offsets defile and healing reduction effects so much. It's phenomenal on the DK if you can afford it. And it also gives you minor heroism. You guys get the deal, right? So these potions, you make these by using Dragon's Vial, Dragon's Rum, again, goes right 4,000, and then Powdered Mother of Pearl, which goes for about 5,000 per unit. So you're using two expensive reagents in one potion. Uh, I would kind of lean toward the essence of speed personally. Now, these reagents are not necessarily easy to farm either. I know there's a quest line that makes these drops available to you. I'm sure there's a way to grind it. I've, me personally, I'm not going to spend my time doing it. I'd rather just buy them. So if you're a high roller, these are the potions for you. Now, what I use personally or which are my absolute favorites are these potions right here, Essence of Magicka. These are pretty much a tripod. Take out the health buffs and put in minor heroism. 
So it gives you a Restores Magicka, gives you Major Intellect, increasing your magic recovery by 30%, gives you Major Endurance, uh, also increasing your Stamina Recovery by 30%, gives you Stamina as well, and it gives you Minor Heroism. So on my build right now, guys, I'm running straight damage, 100% damage and mitigation. I don't have to run any sustain whatsoever with these potions because you get your ultimate back about 19 almost 20 percent faster because of minor heroism and that's not including anything else you can stack onto this build as well like blood spawn decisive traits uh, you can use potentates to decrease the cost of your ultimate i'm actually coming out with a build this week to show you guys how to drop a dk standard within a standard yes you can have two standards at once i'm pretty sure i'm gonna test it out today on stream just to make sure we can before i post the video on it but yeah these are the four potions that i use guys again these are my go-to pretty much try potions you can push everything into damage and mitigation it's phenomenal just be sure to toss out your ult when you get them just so you can completely abuse the battle war pass okay guys so this has been Horcrux. I really hope this was helpful to everyone. I try to keep the video short and sweet. Again, if you met to the end of the video, I'm doing a PvP top five. Please click on the card at the beginning. I'm not sure if I can do two cards, but I can leave a link to it in the description as well. And as always, thank you guys for watching and have a great rest of your day. Peace. <laughs>